Hello and welcome back to Subnautica. Subnautica, the survival-based sea game that has many items to collect and craft. Let's talk about, within Subnautica, the still suit. Now, the still suit is an item that allows you to drink your own wee or body fluids to rehydrate yourself. You won't be completely autonomous, but it's going to help. Now, we're going to find those coordinates and look at our camera coordinates. We're going to press F3 to open a sub menu and F8 to free the mouse on PC. The coordinates that we're currently looking for in the still, for the still suit, are going to be 1310 slash minus 215 comma 570. Now, this location of this particular item is not too far away. It's about 1400 meters away from your starting position of the life pod. So, if you've got a sea moth, jump in your sea moth but you could do it with a sea glide if you're early on in the game as well. So typically, given the camera coordinates that I've just given you, it should be quite easy to find. But if you can't be bothered with all that, fine. We can find it the old fashioned way with a Mark One eyeball. Anyway, if you haven't already done so, do me a favor. Click that like and subscribe button and also that notification bell. Ring that bell and you'll know when I'm putting more videos of gameplay on YouTube. So like I said, where are we going to go? We're going to head in a northeasterly towards east direction. You're going to start off from your initial escape pod and you're going to have the kelp forest on your left hand side and you're going to head on in a northeasterly east direction heading directly before, towards the mushroom forest. Now if you've been in game uh, you know where the mushroom forest is, you certainly should know where the kelp forest is. Keep that on your left hand side, don't get distracted head on in that northeasterly direction and you're eventually going to fall over it. But let's talk a little bit about the thing we're going to actually find, the still suit. So the still suit is mainly white in colour with dark grey patches on the shoulders and around the legs. A network of orange coloured pipes are around the exterior of the suit. What's it do though? So the still suit conserves and filters the player's bodily fluids. Yep, you're drinking reclaimable water everybody, you're drinking your own way. Being added to the inventory, assuming that there's space for it, drinking water restores about 20 H2O points at the cost of minus three food. Because it's going to be salty, right? Um, the still suit produces reclaimed water at a fixed rate of two per day. Um, it's a small item, you know, appearing whenever it... <sighs> Do you know what? I'm actually not sure it's going to be viable. Earlier on in the game, yes. But as you go to those deeper levels, I don't think it's going to be a winner. But anyway, we're going to go and get it anyway. So what are you actually going to need as well to build this still suit once we've found the blueprint? You're going to need copper wire, aerogel and synthetic fibres. Fortunately, these are all readily available materials which you can craft quite easily and early on in the game uh, in the crafting tree. Uh, so check out my other videos on how to get copper wire, aerogel and synthetic fibres on YouTube. So as you can see, we're coming down to it now, but a bit more about the still suit. Top tip and a fun fact here, the still suits actually came from the idea from James Herbert's Dune. Now, those suits that they use in that arid desert within the film Dune, if you haven't seen it or read the books, it's, it's a pretty good, pretty good film to go and check out. Um, those were still suits and they kept people hydrated by reconstituting the water that their body produced. So all that aside, still suits. We're getting close. Over this ridge now, looking down, you know you're in the right area when you've got these lovely bulbous trees. There's the wreck we're talking about. A few items that you're going to see around this wreck. There's going to be a part of the scanner room. There's going to be a couple of doors to go in and explore. But typically, what you need to do to go and get this one particular item, you don't need to go through any doors at all. But we're going to explore the wreck anyway. Um, there's some water in there. There's um, some uh, pulse rifle parts as well all these sort of things that you can collect and scan and if you're running low on titanium then subnautica does a really good way of furnishing you with extra titanium by rescanning items that respawn uh, within the game so going in uh, we're going to turn our flashlight on we're going to open the door and have a good look around first uh, which is always good and, and viable to know you've got a vending machine unfortunately it won't work We've got a water filtration system. Again, doesn't work. 
moving around as well we're gonna have a quick scan there's a couple of crates in there and they're gonna hold uh, some lovely delicious water always good to remain hydrated when on these things with subnautica we're gonna get ourselves through um, the other door of course we're gonna put our light down to open the door going inside a few more items as well and open doors to the outside seascape so we're stocking up on the water um, here's a door here Oops. And then you can get back outside then to your sea moth and recharge. So I'm going to fit my laser cutter, my cutting torch. There we go, all kitted out. We're going to cut through that, do a bit of exploring. I've got the high yield tanks uh, that I got through the Subnautica um, crafting tree. Let's cut through it. Takes a little while. We can go through and then we can say we've completely checked out this wreckage and then it'll be on to getting the still suit. Okay, in we go. Through the glowing hole. Who were misses? Turn the lights on. There's a crate there. Open it up. Bit of water. Some chairs around a carry-all. And again, you got a stasis rifle fragment that you can scan. This being the second scannable item for the stasis rifle. So with all that said and done now, uh, we can go back out, get that these last couple of crates with what we've got in them. Batteries, a bit of water. Let's get back out, hit the sea moth, recharge our oxygen, and then go in through some of the vents to get to the still suit. This wreck has now been completely and utterly investigated. Always worthwhile scanning all the bits that are left around outside. Um, again, that's the scanner room fragment I was talking about. If you haven't got that, then it's going to give you titanium. Okay, so there's our sea moth, the sea badger that I've... I've named it. Let's recharge our O2. There you go. Takes a few seconds. Jump back out. And that's the entry point to get the still suit right there. Now be aware there's some bone sharks around and an electric eel. But they're not going to bother you inside uh, this particular item. So in through the vent. Stay away from the, the sparkling electric thing. And there's the box right there. Click on that. Still suit reclaims moisture from the body. Fantastic. We can now got the blueprint and providing you've got those items that I mentioned earlier on, copper wire, aerogel and synthetic fibers, head on to your nearest replicator and replicate one. And yes, folks, you are going to be able to drink your own wee, reclaim your body fluids and be just like those people from James Herbert's Dune and wear a still suit. Although it will not afford you any protection against radiation. It will not afford you any protection against deep diving. So you've really got to think, well, what am I going to use this for? What am I going to need that for? I don't know. I always like rocking around in the heavy duty deep sea diving suit, but that's just me. Well, I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching. That was a lengthy video on how to get the, the still suit. We covered the coordinates. We covered a Mark 1 eyeball and traditional method of finding the item by guiding ourselves past the kelp forest, towards the mushroom forest, and carrying on to the coordinates 1310 slash minus 215 comma 570. We investigated the wreck. Within the wreck, we had water. Uh, and from that then, we then were able to go through the little vent, get the still suit, get the blueprint, and then we can head on back and pick up all the items that we need. So, thanks very much for watching. Again, this has been Subnautica. Like and subscribe if you've only done so. See you soon for the next video. Take care and swim safe.